Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this two by four pumpkin. It's quick and easy, and it's also double-sided, so you can use it for fall and Halloween, so stay tuned. So Alex recently made some DIY shelving units in our garage and we had a lot of these 2x4 scrap pieces. So I saw on Pinterest how there were a lot of different variations of this pumpkin project and so I decided that I wanted to use these to create one for our front porch. So I went through with our chop saw and just measured out some different lengths so then that way I had all the pieces that I needed which I will tell you in a second what all the measurements are. And then I also went through with a one by two, which is what I use to frame my sides and created a little 45 degree angle to make a stem. So for this pumpkin, you need one main piece in the center, two of the next size, two of the next size, two of the next size, and then one at the top. So here are all the measurements for my particular pumpkin if you want one the exact same size. So the first thing I did with those cut pieces is I sanded them down and then I stained them all with dark walnut stain from Minwax. You guys know this is my favorite. It's like the only stain I use. And I did that so then that way I had this dark base to really make the pumpkin look rustic. So then I went through with some orange Waverly chalk paint and I used a kind of heavier dry brush technique but I wanted to see the stain through the paint so I only did one coat and I made sure to coat all of the edges especially the harder to paint cut edges because those are really going to be seen when people are coming in and out of my house on the porch. So then once those were all dry, I went through, marked the center of each piece, and then I added some Gorilla wood glue and some clamps, so then that way everything was being put together. I did two pieces at a time and clamped them, and then I continued on with the process with my other clamps and did then four together, and then I ended up doing the entire pumpkin and clamping that whole thing together. In between each, I left probably two hours. I just did this on my breaks when I was working from home. So I just went down, measured, and then glued them back together. I just did a faint little pencil mark. So you can go ahead and erase it when you're done, but it helped me just line it up so I didn't have to do any crazy measuring. You also don't need to go out and get clamps to make this. You could put some weight on top of it and call it a day. We just happen to have these clamps in the garage, so I just decided to use them, but you don't need them for this project. I originally thought I was gonna need nails or screws for this, but this Gorilla Wood Glue, you can grab at Walmart, and it's really inexpensive and it worked really well. And then I also used that wood glue to hook my little stem to the top of my pumpkin. And here's what it looks like when everything was glued together. Then I made sure to let that dry overnight so I knew everything was bonded. Then the next night I went through on Pinterest and found a inspo picture of a jack-o'-lantern that I liked so that I could draw on the face. Now with simple like shapes like this, I can pretty much freehand it, but I'm definitely not an artist. So if I can do it, you can too. And I also like using the pencil for this because then you can erase as you go and you're not going to really be able to see it. And then I just took some black chalk paint and painted in where I drew out my lines. And I'm just using a paintbrush from Walmart that you're able to get a straight line on. I let that dry overnight and then it was time to seal. So I grabbed this clear matte water-based polycrylic. I will link it down below. And it looks like this when you open the can, it's like a white kind of milky consistency. And I just went ahead and painted over every surface on the outside. So then that way it was sealed. Now you can go through, sand it, and do a couple coats. Typically where my porch is, I don't need to do the multiple coats, so I just did one, but it's up to you. If you're really gonna be in the elements, like if it's a winter thing, I would suggest more, but for this fall one, I'll be fine. And here is what the finished product looks like. I really like how that wood glue held up because I can grab it by that stem and it is not going anywhere. I also love that right now I have it like this where you just see the plain orange side, but then I can real quick just flip it over when I'm ready for Halloween and then flip it right back over for the Thanksgiving time. It's big enough that it makes a statement on my porch without being overly gaudy. I can still get my door open and shut and it works out really cute with my welcome home mat I recently duped in my Kirkland's video, which I will link up in the iCards for you if you missed it. 
Also, I think the biggest win for me is that because this is two-sided, I have one piece to store instead of two, which Alex will agree is a win because I have a lot of decor. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And here are some recent videos that I know you will enjoy. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!